is more of what performance enthusiasts like superfans have been wishing for since that nameplate was retired. It's also a declaration of design independence from the Toyota way of thinking. Toyota's design efforts are less reliant on consensus now. We have empowered our designers and engineers to develop a creative and passionate vision of future mobility. Many showed off a revised look with the John Cooper Works concept. Some of the lights have been repositioned, along with other cosmetic changes, as the brand tries to find yet another way to attract people to a somewhat predictable layout. The Audi shooting brake is not a new concept, but in Detroit, the all-road version got some attention as a two-door all-wheel drive wagon. It's politically correct with a plug-in hybrid drive system. And Kia dipped a toe in the fantasy sports car genre with the GT4 Stinger, a two-door hatchback with a turbo-powered engine boasting 315 horsepower. While it's slick looking, the chances are pretty good that a four-door version of the GT platform will be in showrooms before enthusiasts get a shot of the hatchback. Volvo is making the XC concept look more like competing luxury crossovers. Volvo envisions this as a new design language since this vehicle is developed as a departure from the Ford way of thinking. This may be what future editions of the XC90 will look like as well. Infinity continues to shake off perceptions of a low-key Asian luxury maker with the Performance Edge. The Q50 or Rouge made that very clear as the potentially very real new flagship sedan for the company. If there's any doubt about its performance credentials, consider it will be equipped with either a 500 horsepower V8 or a turbocharged V6. If you don't see one on the street soon, just check out the Formula One racing circuit. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.